Question number 12, Sir William CO. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Building and Housing and ask, have all boarding houses that are, and I quote, rat infested mouldy dives that are unfit for human habitation, unquote, been closed down since he said he wanted them eliminated in November 2014? If not, why not? Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, let's be clear that if boarding houses in that condition exist, I would expect local councils to have taken action under the Health Act to rectify the issues or enforce closure. The Government received a report from the Social Services Committee in late 2014 and we tabled our initial response early this year. We are awaiting advice from officials on implementing the recommendations we agreed with. A supplementary. supplementary question, Sir William CO. Given his government's belief, and I quote, there is a risk that raising and enforcing minimum standards in boarding houses would reduce the supply of boarding house accommodation, unquote, why doesn't he replace the worst slum boarding houses with a commitment to decent emergency housing that goes beyond the pathetic 500,000 announced by Paula Bennett yesterday? Oh. Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, on behalf um, of the Minister, um, what he has been doing is liaising with the Minister of Social Housing, who actually, in regards to that emergency fund that was put in place, to actually look after those organisations that are pe working with people who have emergency housing needs, see them needing a short-term injection of $500,000, of which I'm sure they're very pleased to be receiving, acknowledging that there are longer-term issues that they want to work alongside of them that are sustainable sustainable, that actually uh, recognise that there might be more funding, and that is actually the way forward for them. Supplementary question, Sir William CO. Is it acceptable for any family to live in rat-infested mouldy dives that are unfit for human habitation? If not, why has he not taken immediate action to shut down rogue operators in the boarding house sector, and why won't he set up a licensing regime and impose minimum standards to protect vulnerable communities housed in boarding houses? Honourable Speaker, Paula Bennett, let's any be quite opposed clear. three supplementary questions? <laughs> boarding houses are regulated under the Residential Tenancies Act, the Health Act, amongst others. If it is that the member knows of boarding houses that are in that sort of condition, he should be uh, actually getting hold of the local council, making sure that they are actually adhering to the acts that are in place now that insist that there cannot be those kinds of living situations. So if the member's sitting here simply thinking that this is the way to address it, there is a means to do that, and he has a responsibility to follow through on that. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Sir William CO. Does he honestly believe that it's up to the council or that private providers of boarding houses can regulate themselves, given that he himself has acknowledged some boarding houses are rat infested Māori dives that are unfit for human habitation, and he is the Minister of Housing with the power to prioritise funding for those most vulnerable in our communities. Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, let's be quite clear that the government has come back from the Select Committee inquiry that was far-reaching and had a number of recommendations that we agree with. As far as working through... Well, that member was on the Select Committee, wasn't he? So if you couldn't actually then uh, actually influence that, then there's quite a, thing, quite a few uh, problems there. As far as building minimum standards. The government is working through its way on a response, but there are a number of acts that should be adhered to that make sure there are not those kinds of living situations, and if the member knows of any, then they should be fronting up and making sure that they're followed through by the council. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Sir William CO. After being in government for seven years, why is he refusing to adequately protect the most vulnerable New Zealanders who are increasingly being forced to turn to boarding houses because of his government's housing crisis? Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, I simply disagree with all of that statement. Order. That concludes questions for oral answer. Our point of order, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I just would seek your advice, um, perhaps in a week or so's time, on your decision.